So your stories um, on Twitter at Talk Roberto. Uh, you can text 81333. Start your message 3CR. If Instagram is your thing, you can find me at the Roberto Prony, but lots of different ways of getting in touch. Let's come back to this idea of a dinner party supreme guest list. So Michael Caine turned 90 on Monday and his party had quite the lineup of celebrity guests. At the River Cafe in London, he was joined by David Walliams, Denise Welsh and Tom Cruise. That's quite an eclectic mix. So which four celebrity guests would you have at your party? Because that's quite a good lineup. Joining us now is Liz Taylor, the MD of the Taylor Lynn Corporation. She also featured in Channel 4's The Millionaire Party Planner. Liz, very good afternoon to you. Hi, good afternoon, Roberto. How are you? I'm well. Hope you find you well, Liz. Um, what do you make of the guests that attended Sir Michael Caine's party? Well, a little bit of what, what might say an eclectic mix. I don't know. It was sort of a bit of an odd combination, but I'm I'm sure that um, I'm sure they all sort of brought something to plate to the party, as they say. Um, wouldn't be my choice. Well, again, it, uh, David Williams and Denise Walsh not for me, but you'd want Tom Cruise, wouldn't you? Um, no, I don't know if I would. I, I think I'd rather go for something like Paul McCartney. You know, he's got history, and he's and he's just such a huge character. And, um, you know, sometimes wrinkles are a little bit better when you're an older woman. So I think uh, Tom, I think Paul McCartney would be my preference to Tom Cruise. Um, if it was my guilty pleasure, maybe Idris Elba. But, um, yeah, that ah, would be... Ah, yes. Good. Well, Idris, Idris is very charming. He's a very nice man, Idris. But, again, it's Paul McCartney, again, very good guest. But then again, he'd only eat vegan food. A bit boring. Well, I always say my thing when I'm organising an event, you never go away saying you had a great piece of chicken. You always go away saying, I had the best night, champagne was brilliant, cocktails amazing, company was fabulous. And it's not always about the food. I think I'd also like to maybe have Matt Hancock at the table and like to hear what he's got to say. Oh, he's no. obviously been very controversial. You know, I, I really like you, Liz, but Matt Hancock, oh, God, dear, not him. No? Would well, you want to come instead, then? Oh, yeah, I'll tell love you to. Else I want. I'll tell you who else. Helen Mirren, definitely. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I and love that's Helen. A gr- oh, yeah. Who doesn't? And, and the other one, because I know I'm, I'm only really allowed for, um, is Sharon Osbourne, who I've, I've met, actually. I did the closing party for X Factor some years back, and she is fabulous. And she's got a few stories to tell. Now, she's I, a bit of a I can concur. I don't want to drop any names. I, I, you know, I have been at a party with Sharon Osbourne and Ozzy, and, and he's hilarious. She's brilliant. Well, there you go, you see. So so those would be my guests. Um, and, yeah, Tom Cruise, yeah, he's, he's good eye candy, but I, I'm being really mean here, but I don't think he'd float my boat at dinner. I don't, with Tom Cruise, I'd, again, I'd want to talk films with Tom, but I don't think he'd just walk in. He'd probably sky skydive in from you know Mission Impossible style and make everything really dramatic. That's what I like about Tom Cruise. Yeah, but then then you'd get all the Scientology, Scientology stuff, and I don't want that. I want yeah, I'll bring it on. Know. I'll, you know, if it's Tom Cruise, yeah, bring it on. I want to listen to that. What, what about some <laughs> Michael? What about some Michael Caine? Because at ninety, I mean, he, he looks good. I was I was not shocked. I was. Well, not not shocked, but sad to see him using a rollator. I guess age kicks in for everybody. It certainly does, and I'm pleading the fifth on this because it's my birthday on Friday on St Patrick's Day. It's mine and Ruth Holmes, Ruth Langford, and we share the same birthday, not the same age. So, yeah, but, you know, you've got to embrace it now, haven't you? We've all had a rubbish time. We've all come out of it, and age is but a number. It's you, They say you're as young as the man that you feel. I think that... <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, your birthday on fr- and happy birthday for Friday. You, what, 40 is a good age, isn't it? What are you worried about, Liz? Oh, you're too sweet. You can definitely come to my dinner party. <laughs> I'm only saying that. I've got a big one next month, and I don't even want to mention the number. It's it's it's, it's big. I'm thinking, oh, good. But you say, you just forget about the number. Just get on with it. Just, you know, get on with it. Absolutely. And the other key thing with the dinner party, if I may just say, don't cook. Get somebody in to do the cooking for you. So what, So you can sit down yeah, at the table on, and you on. can enjoy the company. Yeah, now look, let me ask you about that because the Millionaire Party Planner on Channel 4 featured you organising spectacular luxury events for the super wealthy and that's nice if you've got you know, big money you can bring, bring in a celebrity chef. But most of us haven't got that capability. We can ask our, our mums or our wives to do it for us but we, you know, we, can't, we can't stretch to Gordon yeah, Ramsay. 
No, but you can order fish and chips for everyone and plate it on a beautiful glass plate and put the peas in a little container with some sauce on the side and it looks like somebody's been in the kitchen and done it for you. You can be really clever with presentation. You don't have to have the chef in the kitchen. Oh, hang it's on. The, de- the, the devil's in the detail here. So you, you can bring stuff in and then just tart it up? A hundred percent. And I've been doing that for a long, long time. <laughs> I, think we, I think we all have Yeah, least. and you do a shot of limoncello or you do a cocktail in a milk bottle with a straw. Just be clever with the presentation. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It's how you spend the money. And may I just ask, you said glass plate. Now, my, we've got, my wife's got some glass plates. I don't know where she got them from. And I keep trying to hide them and smash them. And keep, keep, she keeps putting them out again. What is it? I can't stand glass plates. What is it with glass plates? I just think they add just a little bit of pizzazz to the table. And, you know, if you lay the napkin on top of the glass plate, it's quite smart and it's quite chic. So she's obviously got good taste, your wife. It's well, a shame that you don't appreciate it. I think, tell her to give me a call. I'll help her. <laughs> Liz, always good talking to you. Wish you on Liz Taylor, the MD of the Thank Taylor you. Lynn Corporation. That's a, actually, if you do have, you can have four people. Which four would you have? But the idea is you can actually, says Liz, and she does, she's a millionaire party planner. You can bring in takeaway food. And then just tart it up a little bit, make it look better than it is. But then surely you'd have to tell your guests you haven't cooked it.